Al Salam Foundation. Mr. President, Al Salam Foundation and ADHRB welcome the report of the Working Group on Arbitrary Detention, in particular the connection drawn between arbitrary detention and torture. This connection is clearly evident in Bahrain, where political prisoners and other arbitrarily held detainees regularly face torture in custody. Enforced disappearance, incommunicado detention, torture-induced confessions, and due process violations are frequently documented in Bahrain, such as in the case of the so-called Zulfikar Brigades, a mass tr terrorism trial in which 115 Bahrainis were convicted and denaturalized. We also note with appreciation the recent opinion issued concerning Bahraini citizen Nabil Rajab in which the working group determined that he is being arbitrarily detained in violation of his rights to freedom of opinion and expression and that his detention is discriminatory and based upon his status as a human rights defender. Significantly, one of the tweets that was used to convict him criticized the Bahraini government for failing to address widespread torture in Jao prison. We wish to bring the working group's attention to another individual arbitrarily detained on discriminatory grounds, political opposition leader Hassan Mashaima. Seventy years old, Mashaima is serving a life sentence in Jao prison on charges of attempting to overthrow the government for his pro-democracy activism. He has been subjected to ill treatment in Jao prison, including the continued denial of health care and confiscation of books. We echo the comments of the working group that widespread or systematic imprisonment and deprivation of liberty may constitute crimes against humanity. And we submit that widespread and systematic arbitrary detention imposed by the Al Khalifa government in Bahrain has reached this level. We ask, will the working group comment on the use of mass trials to unfairly imprison and denaturalize individuals, particularly in the context of Bahrain? Thank you. Thank you very much.